His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa today performed Eid Al Adha prayers at Al Sakhir Palace Mosque alongside His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King's sons, senior royal family members, Shura Council Chairman, senior state officials, the Kuwaiti Ambassador, and Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, and senior BDF Interior Ministry and National Guard officers. الله أكبر 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 Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. The Imam Allahu delivered Allahu a sermon Allahu praying Allahu to Allah the Almighty to protect Allahu His Akbar. Majesty King Hamid, guide him on Allahu the right Akbar. path of success, Allahu and grant him Allahu abundant Allahu good health Allahu and Allahu happiness. Allahu he also Allahu wished Allahu the kingdom further Allahu progress Allahu and Allahu prosperity Allahu under Allahu His Allahu Majesty Allahu the King's Allahu leadership. وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله أرسله رحمة للعالمين وقدوة للعاملين فبلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة وجاهد في الله حق الجهاد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصلاة وسلاما دائمين إلى قيام الأشهاد فاحمدوا الله عباد الله على بلوغ هذا العيد السعيد واشكره على ما هداكم وأعطاكم ورزقكم من الطيبات فالمسلمون في هذه الأيام أيام التشريق يكثرون من ذكر الله التزاما بهدي رسول الله واعلموا يا, رس... يا رعاكم الله أن الله قد أمركم بأمر بدأ فيه بنفسه وثنى بملائكته المسبحة بقدسه وأيها بكم أيها المؤمنون من جنه وإن... وإنسه إذ قال جل من قائل عليما إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وزد وبارك وأنعم على هذا النبي الكريم وعلى آل بيته الأطهار وعن الصحب الأربعة الأخيار أبي بكر وعمر وعثمان وعلي وعن سائر الصحابة أجمعين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم عز الإسلام والمسلمين وذل الشرك والمشركين اللهم آمنا في أوطاننا اللهم آمنا في أوطاننا واحفظ يا مولانا مليكنا اللهم احفظه بحفظك وأعز به دينك وعلي به كلمتك اللهم اجعل له عمرا مديدا وعملا صالحا رشيدا ورأيا موفقا سديدا واجعله يا الله من طال عمره وحسن عمله وارزقه البطانة الصالحة الناصحة يا رب العالمين اللهم وفق جميع ولاتنا بتوفيقك واعنهم على أمور دينهم ودنياهم يا رب العالمين واغفر اللهم لنا ولوالدينا ولمن له حق علينا ولمن أوصانا بالدعاء له وللمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك مولانا قريب مجيب الدعوة رب العالمين عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وإنهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروا الله العزيز الجليل يذكركم واشكروه على عموم نعمه يزدكم ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون وتقبل الله منا ومنكم صالح الأعمال His Majesty the King exchanged greetings and good wishes with worshippers and thanked them for their congratulations and sincere supplications, wishing the kingdom and its people many happy returns.
The worshippers extended heartfelt congratulations and good wishes to His Majesty the King on this occasion, praying to Allah Almighty to bless him with abundant good health and happiness, protect him and guide him on the path of success, voicing pride in his sound approach of consolidating the kingdom's status and an effective regional Arab and international role. They lauded the landmark achievements and gains attained by the kingdom and the progress it is witnessing in various fields during His Majesty's prosperous era.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the advent of Eid Al Adha. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished His Majesty continued health, happiness, and many happy returns. His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa also wished the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation further development and prosperity. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of good wishes to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister on the occasion. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa also received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid Al Adha. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Majesty the King continued health, happiness and many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince also wished the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation further development and prosperity. In reply, His Majesty the King sent a cable of good wishes to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion. A telephone conversation was held between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Jabbar Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, His Highness the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan, the President of the Palestinian Authority, Mahmoud Abbas, and the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Jabbar Al Ahmed Al Sabah. During the calls, greetings on the occasion of Eid were exchanged between them and His Majesty the King, wishing each other's countries and the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa exchanged Eid Al Adha cables of good wishes with GCC leaders on the advent of Eid Al Adha. His Majesty exchanged cables with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said of Oman and His Highness the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Majesty the King wished the GCC leaders abundant health and happiness and many happy returns for both their countries and their peoples. His Majesty the King also exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders of Arab and Islamic states on the advent of Eid Al Adha, wishing them abundant health and happiness and their countries and peoples many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the President of Egypt, Abdul Fattah Al Sisi, and Tabuk Governor Prince Fahad bin Sultan bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. They exchanged good wishes on the occasion of Eid Al Adha and wishes for many happy returns and prosperity for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today a message of congratulations from United States President Barack Obama on the advent of Eid Al Adha. President Obama congratulated His Majesty the King and the world, saying that Hajj is a strong proof of the ability of millions of people of different cultures and countries to communicate, pray, and meditate together. He also affirmed that Eid Al Adha is an opportunity to do charity work, paying tribute to the millions of Muslims in the U.S. and around the globe who take this opportunity to provide humanitarian assistance. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the advent of Eid Al Adha. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister continued health and happiness and many happy returns. He also wished the people of Bahrain and the Islamic nation further development and prosperity. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable of good wishes to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders and Prime Ministers of the GCC, Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of Eid Al Adha, wishing them good health, happiness and many happy returns, and to their countries and people further progress and prosperity. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, sent a cable of greetings to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud of Saudi Arabia, on the occasion of Eid al Adha and the success of the Hajj season. In the cable, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister voiced pride in the efforts exerted by the Saudi monarch and his government in serving the pilgrims, providing them with the necessary facilities, security, and protection. He wished the custodian of the two holy mosques, the Saudi people, and the Arab and Muslim nation many happy returns. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also expressed pride in existing relations between the two brotherly countries, which extend deep into history and lauded the great stances of King Salman bin Abdulaziz al Saud and his noble feelings towards Bahrain, its security and stability. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister also lauded the pivotal role played by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in serving the causes of the Arab Islamic countries of the world. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa exchanged cables of good wishes with leaders, Prime Ministers and Crown Princes of GCC, Arab and Islamic countries on the advent of Eid al-Adha, wishing them good health, happiness and many happy returns and to their countries and people further progress and prosperity. The Kingdom of Bahrain expressed its deep concern over the Justice Against Sponsors of Terrorism Act issued by the United States Congress. In a statement, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs said that Bahrain considers the act contradictory to the Charter of the United Nations and the principles of international law and runs contrary to the foundations of international relations based on the principles of sovereign equality and immunity of states, mutual respect and non-imposition of the domestic law laws of any country on other countries. The statement said that the Kingdom of Bahrain affirms that such act, if implemented, will be a dangerous precedent in the relations between nations and would pose a threat to the stability of the international system as well as a significant global economic damage and carries causes for chaos and instability in international transactions, voicing hope that the United States will not ratify the act, which will give other countries the opportunity to issue similar laws that would negatively affect international efforts in the fight against terrorism.